guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have on the table my Arma Typhon Grom. This is the brushless version. Um, I am going to install the Hot Racing Aluminum Adjustable Motor Mount. Um, this is the part number. It is GRM18A06. It comes with some screws here as well and the mount right there. Uh, I just want to see how it installs, the easy install. If it drops right in, no additional modification needed. To see how it works. Let's go ahead and get into the video and show you how to change out the stock plastic motor mount to this adjustable hot racing version. All right, so again, use my trusty Power Hobby uh, drill and drill a bit here. Let's go ahead and get these screws out. So I'm going to keep the video nice and short, so I'm doing a lot of cutaways. I'm going to take the screws out and I'll get back to you once I'm done. All right, so basically, you take all of these screws here loose or out, There's one here as well, and then the four up front, and it should have pop this whole thing out. And I believe the motor will probably come out with it as well. You may have to unplug it from the ESC right there. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so just be careful. The screws popped out just be mindful where the screws go all right and then it shall come out just like that okay put it off to the side and then what do you have here is this mine just two uh, little pins here as well that goes into the front suspension that could come out so just be careful about losing that piece so basically and you could remove the motor right here. All right. And this is the piece that we will be changing out. Okay. Right here. So for me, I like to start with the grub screw for the um, pinion gear. So stock is a 21 tooth. Um, you could put some heat on it if you want in case before in case it you know it strips out. But let's just see if I need to get some heat. Nope, it loosened up, so that is good. If for some reason, if you start to use your tool and it strips or it slipped the first time, I'll stop and just put some heat on it, get like a light or something, and just put some heat on this screw here, but be mindful of this plastic uh, mount right here. Heat it up so it's loosen up the Loctite and it should be able to pop off. Um, so I might get a flathead just to pop it off of there, but I did loosen up the grub screw. I'm basically get my flathead, just put it beneath it and just pop it out just like that. Boom. The pinion gear is out. And then next, we have here these two screws. I'm going to loosen up, and we should be good to go to install the hot racing. Got that one. And that one. Boom. Just like that, and it's out. All right, so next have the hot racing part here. Okay. Let's go ahead. Okay. So here's the mount. There's a little bit of a spacer thing here. All right. And then get the screws here. And there's a washer there as well. So again, hopefully everything works properly. There's any manual that came with it. So we'll just see how it goes. So I'm trying to put, put it right back here like that. Okay. I'm just gonna hand start it. down a little bit and then to screw up top I'm gonna put the washer here and I mean just see how we go alrighty and then I'm gonna start it by hand and then get it tightened down okay back off a little bit
right? So now you have a bit of a movement just like that, okay? All right. So I actually installed a 22 tooth. It comes with a 21. This is the part number here as well. ARA2022. I uh, just see what, you know, if it get any faster with it, if, it, if the ESC cuts power, things like that. So I just kind of have it snug for now. Um, just kind of put it in the lineup and see how everything goes in. If I have to move the the grub, the, um, the motor back or anything like that. So I'm just trying to see. All right, so I unplugged the, the, the motor from the ESC and installed the motor onto the mount and I'll install it back into the car. This makes it a little bit easier um, to install it, I think. Um, or you do the way, you know, whichever you feel comfortable doing as well. So let's see if that even helped. Right. And also when you put the front end on, make sure those pins go into the top cover for the steering servo. Okay. I think the gear mesh sounds okay. I think we're good. Uh, we will know once I drive it. All right, so I'm gonna button it back down and wrap the video up. All right, guys, so yeah, so I've been, I've just been working on the car. Forgot I was recording for a second. Um, so basically, uh, I think I showed you guys me basically putting the car back together and I'm just putting the screws back in now. Uh, the mesh is set and just the only thing left to do is just to drive it and see how it is. It actually went in pretty good. I do like this uh, adjustable motor mount. Um, makes it much easier to put the mesh. Although, um, with these, you know, it will tell you which one to use to set the mesh. But it's good to have a quick little adjustable one on the fly. Um, but again, have them all pretty much locked in. Uh, put a little Loctite on the um, grub screw. And then this is what mine sound like. Um, I did have to take it off twice just to make sure because it seems like once you tighten everything down, it's the mesh tightens up a little bit. So I kind of said it. Hopefully this is good. I can't see or touch it in the meantime, but just listening to it, I think we're good. So we'll see if it if I blow the gear. I just know it was a little bit um, too loose on the on the mesh. But anyways, again, quick little video. I'll put that together, look pretty nice and stock. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.